I met her at a bar. Young girl. Younger than me, anyway. Eyes like hot coals, hair like she'd French kissed a car battery. We did shots for a while. Cheap shit Canadian whiskey, so cheap it didn't even have a brand. We laughed, told dirty jokes, spun a couple sad stories, too. Around midnight, she finally told me her name. Said, I'm Miriam Black, and I bet you 50 bucks I can tell you how you're going to die. <laughs> I laughed. She said, dead serious. It's true, no shit. All I need to do is touch you. And she says, all sexy-like, with a playful wink, Can I touch you? And I laughed even harder, Bran, like a donkey, at the thought of this girl wanting to touch an old fucked-up mummy like me. But I said, yeah, okay, sure, honey. She laid her hand over mine. She seemed cold, but her hand was warm. Only took a second. And she told me the how and the when of my final tap dance off the end of the Reaper's Naughty Bits. Afterwards, Miriam said, always keep that fifty in your pocket. Then she winked and was gone. Now here I am. Just like she said, I slipped on a patch of ice outside the farmhouse, cracked my head good. I feel the blood on my neck wetting my shoulders. As I'm lying here watching a squadron of geese fly overhead who shows up at little Miss Miriam Black. She comes up to me, kneels down, smiles, reaches into my pocket, feels around. It's too cold for me to get a thrill. Pulls out that fifty I put there. She whispers, I won the bet. Miriam stays with me a while as the sun starts to slide down behind the horizon and she kisses me on the forehead, tells me it was good meeting me, and that it'll all be over soon. Now she's gone. Now I suppose it's time.